Harlin lumber mills are designed to be set up on the ground, or they can be portable by mounting on your own trailer. This mill will cut logs up to 30 inches in diameter and to 16 feet long. More track is available to cut to any length desired. The standard model is manually operated, being pushed through the log by hand. An optional hand crank is available, which makes it easier to saw, especially on your wider cuts. Once we've made a couple of passes to flatten the log, it's turned 90 degrees. The tall posts with a tapered top make turning the log easy. The small, sharp points will hold the wood in place as we continue to saw. A typical sawing speed or feed speed is 15 to 40 feet per minute. We're making a sawing pass in about 10 seconds on this 8 foot log. Next up, the electric powered version. We're using a 7.5 horsepower single phase electric motor here. The electric motor rating can be multiplied by two to two and a half times to get the equivalent in gas engine power. So this motor could replace a 15 to 18 horse gas engine. Once the log is squared up, and if you figured right, you can then simply cut it into boards. We're cutting two by eights here. When the log is being squared up, unedged boards are created, but they can be finished by putting sawn edges on them later. This edging process can be done individually, or several boards of similar size can be done together. If the board already had one good edge on it, you're done. If not, it simply needs to be turned over and reclamped and the second edge sawn. The ruler with the pointer tells you how far the blade is above the log bed. We want this board to be right at six inches. When done sawing, you'll have a usable stack of boards. To change the saw blade, you first remove both blade guards. Next, the hydraulic tensioner is backed off until the pressure is zero. By pushing down on the blade now, the idler band wheel is moved inboard, which lets the blade go slack and it can now be removed. When first learning to coil and uncoil the blade, gloves and glasses should be worn. With a little practice, however, it's pretty simple. If the new blade is a bit shorter than the old one just removed, relax the tensioner a little to make it fit.
With the new blade on and the guards in place, retention to the recommended setting. The whole blade change took about a minute and now we're ready to saw again. All our sawmills come with the one inch Acme threaded rods for raising and lowering the saw head. With five turns of these rods equaling one inch in height adjustment, it's easy to count the turns and get precise board thickness. To safely control the engine speed and the turning blade, a remote throttle is mounted close to the operator. By dripping water mixed with a strong detergent on the blade, we can keep it and the saw guides clean and free of buildup. But if you have a really pitchy log, kerosene or diesel may be used. Adding a hand crank feed to your sawmill makes moving it through the log much easier on the wider cuts. One turn of the crank equals about six inches of travel, giving the operator good leverage. Our power feed is variable speed, selectable from zero to 35 feet per minute. Having the optional power raise and lower instead of the hand crank is much easier on your arm and shoulder. Our log turner is useful on larger logs, allowing the sawyer to turn big logs without power equipment. Dull blades can be resharpened between 5 and 10 times with our precision blade sharpener. After the first sharpening, most blades will need the teeth reset. We offer two different mill models. Thinking of your maximum log diameter helps in determining which mill will best suit your needs. The 190A has a maximum log diameter of 30 inches. The 1900 has a maximum log diameter of 36 inches. The basic saw frame. This consists of the two band wheels, the main shafts and bearings, the blade tensioner, saw guides with their mounts, and the square tube saw frame. The super saw frame adds the two blade guards, the engine mount, the belt guard, and the rear cross tube for attaching the unit to the rest of the carriage that you provide. With the complete carriage, you would only need to add your power unit and provide the track log holder system. For those who want to design and build their own sawmill, we offer most parts needed. First, band wheels in 16, 19, 21, and 26 inch diameter. The main drive shafts and the main bearings are 1 and 7 sixteenths. Our saw guides are designed to push the blade down 1 quarter inch this, combined with the lip on the rear of the guide, allows the mill to cut down to one inch on your last cut. Our track wheels are made to run on the edge of 3 8 thick angle iron. The hydraulic tensioning system provides a precision way to tension the band blade and then monitor the tension during sawing. By using twin one-inch Acme rods to raise and lower the saw head, accuracy and repeatability are assured. The single groove clutch fits one-inch shaft engines up to 20 horsepower. The two groove clutch is for the 25 horsepower engine with an inch and an eighth shaft. With the complete sawmills, partial assemblies, kits, and individual parts, here at Lynn Lumber, it truly is your choice. <laughs>